This is why I do what I do. Not only am I a DIY girly, but I'm putting the other queens on. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm just having a name. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and join the fam because you're going to love it here. Promise you that. Today we are about to do a full Get Ready With Me fall edition. We are going to be starting with hair. I'm doing a quick weave today. So I will be using some bundles by Indique. Girl, I went ahead and shampooed, conditioned, and I bleached some of the hair and I got this really cute brown color. I'm about to do my braid down but first things first I want to show you all the tools and products that I'll be using. I'm going to protect my hair as much as I possibly can girl by putting on two caps and then on top of that I'm going to put this protective shield. I actually hate using this stuff. I gotta use this off the wall off brand stuff. It's not off brand but it's not the Salon Pro. 30 second dry glue that I normally use. This is Ray by Kiss, but I like Kiss. So I feel like, you know, she should be, she should, she, we should see out of eye, okay? I hope the glue works. And then I'm gonna be using some Kendra silkening mist on the bundles. Let's start sectioning out my hair for my braid down. Okay, you guys, so I know I look crazy, but the hard part is out of the way. I think this is the best foundation I have ever done on myself. This is my first time, like, tracing the caps with glue so it can actually stay and cut in ear tabs so it actually, like, fits my hair really, really good. This foundation is Secure Honey She's All Dry, so now it's just time to add in my tracks. Um, Since I'm doing a deep side part, I am going to try to, like, curve them going towards the front so they can kind of fall in my face. Not too much, though. Probably only, like, curve up to this bit right here because... And then I'm just going to lay them flat, I guess. I don't... Yeah, because I don't like too much in my face. I'm not trying to give a Leah vibe. You feel me? So, guys, my girl, this is her. This is she. Pray. I don't know what the back look like, but we about to cover that up anyways, okay? So, let's get into gluing in these tracks, okay? I'm working late because I'm a sinner. Oh, you look so cute. Wrapped around my finger with twisted humor. Okay, boom, all the hair is in. I feel like a lioness, okay? Now that the hair is actually installed, I do wish that the brown was blonde. I really do, because I just feel like it would have gave it more pop. But I'm not going to count her out yet. I'm going to be using this Big Burl. It's from Revlon. Um, it goes up to 
level 30 which i feel like it's probably in between like 430 and 450 degrees because it does really get hot i think this is a one and a half inch so it should give me really voluminous curls and then like i showed y'all earlier like i'm about to go in with a lot of this spray this silkening mist just because the hair is nice and fluffy but i want it to give silk press and i'm also going to go through my hair with this golden hot flat iron that goes up to like 450 or 475 girl it gets too hot i'm gonna run a couple of passes through the hair as well just because this is just air dried hair after i shampooed and conditioned her the curls eat okay i haven't i'm not going to touch them yet because this hair really doesn't hold that good of a curl not gonna die um i literally had to start like spraying my right tail comb with some pop it up spritz just so we can like actually start holding because the ones in the back baby then dropped okay but now i'm about to go in with my edge fixer to do my edges and really pull this whole look together and don't talk about my edge brush because I'm sure yours look crazy too. One thing I can't really get jiggy with doing all the time is curling your baby hair. Because you will fry your baby hairs off. Like you will you will have no more baby hairs. Like if don't nobody tell you, sure I'm going to tell you. Also, I'm not trying to put too much product because that makes your style not last as long. So yeah, I'm just gonna put just enough. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of spritz in my hands and rub them together to get rid of flyaways. Cause I hate me a flyaway, honey. This is the hair and um, if I do say so myself, she's eating, okay? Uh, I don't wanna run my hands through it too much, but. I fear that, oh no, I think I didn't curl this. I fear that I extremely ate, like I did exactly what was needed to be done. Can we get into the color? Can we get into the color? The way in which it blends. If this don't scream fall hairstyle baby, then I don't know what will. The edges, immaculate. The sideburn, immaculate. The curls, fantastic. The color, subtle, but it's a little, you know, you want to take a little double take, like, huh? Yeah, it's down. The layers, the, the fluffiness of the curl, the flattness of the install. Baby, you can't tell me this ain't my hair. I bodied. This is why I do what I do. Not only am I a DIY girly, but I'm putting the other queens on. Let's do a spin. Her. Is the back eating for her? Is she cute? I hope she's cute because I just talked about her shit. I think we're going to be doing my nails next, okay? Because right now, she looking real dry, real ugly. What is this even? She's not cute, okay? So we're going to get into nails next. Like this video. Stop playing. Because do you, do you see the material? Okay, you guys. So for my nail set today, I'm basically doing some customized personal nails by using gel tips. We're going to start with some basic nail prep. I went ahead and buffed my natural nails. Then I filed them. It's really important to get rid of the sides because I'm going to put on an almond shaped nail tip today. I pushed back my cuticles and then I'm going to end with getting rid of any dead skin with this little tool here. 
Afterwards, I'm gonna um, go in with some alcohol just to get rid of all of the dust. And then I'm gonna follow that up with probably what's the most important step, which is a nail dehydrator. You wanna make sure that your natural nails are super dry so they adhere to the nail tips and last you a really long time. My nails always last me a month, ain't no cap in my wrap okay these are the almond tips from beetles that i'll be using of course i'm gonna head and size them to my nails and i like to use pink gel nail glue this is by kiss this is my favorite nail glue use whichever one you prefer um, i like to tap the tip on my nail first and then i go ahead and apply it with a lot of pressure i hold for about 30 seconds and then it's time to go in and buff and shape the nails these nails come with such a beautiful shape but i just want to make sure that they you know look good on on my nails like on my fingers basically so once those are all shaped and filed i'm gonna go in with the base coat Oh my god, y'all, these Gaio, or have you pronounce it, nail polishes, gel nail polishes are so freaking good. They come with a base, a top gloss, all that good stuff. So I used their base no wipe um, as my base, and then I went in with this pretty nude, neutral pinkish color for like my base color. And today I'm going to be trying out Blooming Gel for the first time. It was a learning curve for sure, but I... I think I got a down pack nail because I want to do like a really fall cutesy gel X nail vibe set. So after my pink base, I went over with some blooming gel. That was the silver bottle. And now I was trying to like do a cute little like flower detailing on my thumb girl. It did not turn out cute. So unfortunately I didn't record this part, but I went ahead and just did some dotted designs on both sides of the nail and it came out so cute. So, after you use the blooming gel, do not cure. Go right into your nail polish. Once you're done your design, cure, and then I topped it with a top coat. For my other fingers, I'm going to be doing this tortoise kind of vibe, and I'm using this Beatles Jelly Orange Nail Polish. This is what you need to do any kind of like tortoise shell design. So cute. I went ahead with my detailing brush and did a cute little frenchie i did not cure okay now i'm going in with like a burgundy color and i'm not gonna lie i i don't have the tortoise shell down pack yet in terms of design it looked too neat so do it really messily okay but once you go over but once you do the burgundy color or your base color you want to cure it for just a little bit of time not too much probably like five seconds and then you go in with a black or a dark dark brown and then you cure that for real and then i went in with my glossy top coat and proceeded to do my next nail so for this one i went in with a thin layer of the orange jelly um and i cured that and then i went over with the blooming gel don't cure and then i did some more dotted designs i'm really just freestyling doing what i think is gonna feel right and this is what we have so far for my pinky nail i went in with another thin layer of blooming gel you always want to use a thin layer when it comes to that stuff i put a little bit of the orange jelly in the center and then i just tried to do some regular dots i don't i don't know what this nail even gives but girl it was cute okay and apologies for the angle i was trying to show y'all as best as i possibly could but basically this is what i ended up with um finished it off with a little bit of cuticle oil for my first time trying to do one of those like cutesy gel x sets i think it turned out pretty decent let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i don't have this down pack but i will learn for sure practice makes perfect Okay, you guys, so hair is done, nails are done, and now it's time to do lashes. I don't know about y'all, but a really nice dark eyelash set screams fall to me, so that's what I'll be going for today. In terms of the clusters that I'll be using, these are the ones. I got it from Amazon. They'll be linked in my description box below. I'll make sure that everything is, like, really obvious in terms of what links go to what. I don't even know how to say this. Whatever that is. All you need to know is that these clusters start with 9mm and they go up to 12 I like short eyelash sets. I just feel like they, you know, 
really complement my eye shape nicely. And then this is the seal and bond that it comes with. Looks like that. Please excuse the fact that it's extremely filthy. Just bear with me, girl. Bear with me. I'm probably going to be using all 9 through 12 today. And then just so you guys know what I use to wash my lashes. This is what I use. It's from V.I.S. Just get any eyelash shampoo. And I also use their lash remover. It's basically just like an oil-based solution that allows the clusters to come off without tearing your own lashes off. And y'all know you need these type of tweezers. Well, these are the type of tweezers I like to use. If you can do lash clusters with regular tweezers, you are a pro. Okay, so I'll be using the 9 millimeters in the inner corner and then the 12s at the end. Um, 10s and 11s will be in the middle of the V. And yeah, I'm excited to round out this video, girl. We're almost at the finish line, okay? This handheld mirror comes in handy because you can place it right underneath your lashes. But what I like to do is go with a little bit of the bond and I put this at the base of my lashes. I don't really like to brush it all the way through because when it dries it makes your natural lashes like really hard and crusty. And then you're just going to have to apply more and more bond over that dried bond so your lash cluster can actually stick and by the time you do that it's going to be clumpy and it's not going to be cute so i put a little bit at the base and i work it in there without dragging it all the way out throughout my entire lash and then i'm gonna start with a 12. i don't count how many i use i just go based off vibes hold it like this and i like to place it up underneath And I hold it because sometimes the glue isn't tacky enough but holding it should give it better grip so it doesn't just fall off like so and then I just press it so it stays you kind of got to move fast if you don't want to apply too much bond I'm running low so I gotta move fast so I'm just gonna go in with my second 12 piece and I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but this time I'm going to overlap it a little bit. You never wanna have like spaces in your lashes. Hold, let it go, and press. And like every two that I put on, then I'll go back and add a little bit more glue cause I have new lashes that I'm about to touch. And if y'all have any questions, put them in the comments below because I know some of y'all out there are newbies at this and I want to make sure that y'all understand how to do this. So yeah, I'm going to flow through this process. Oh, and since I'm going for a dark look because it's fall, I'm going to stack them. So I'm going to do one layer and then I'm going to go back in and stack so they can be thick. And that's how you make your clusters really look like lash extensions. Now it's time for this seal. And first I take the cotton looking part and I just go in underneath and I press against the base where I add the glue all over. And I like really get on the side of the end and the beginning because these are the areas that come off first. And then I take the spoolie part and brush upwards. I don't know if it makes a difference, girl. It's just what I do. And that is my fall lash set. 
good. Um, my lashes are probably gonna last me like three days straight with no problems. And then like that fourth or fifth day, the one towards the end or the inner corner, outer corner might be slipping a little bit, you know, gotta take one off, add a little bit of mug glue, put it back. Um, but seven days definitely will probably be a wrap. Um, so, I mean, they're clusters. They're not supposed to last as long as real lash extensions anyways, but they definitely gonna get the job done. I'm like absolutely in love with this set. I think it's like dark and cute, but still like, pretty and soft on the face you know like I can wear them without having on makeup but that really wraps up today's video now that we have done our hair I did the hair two days ago we did the nails yesterday and um we did the lashes today so took me all weekend girl but we are ready for the fall all our maintenance is done and uh, um I'm going to be real cute for the next two to three weeks, period. That's how long I expect my nails and my hair to last. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a like below. I would really appreciate it. You know, engage, comment. Um, let me know what your favorite part of maintenance is. Let me know what kind of video you want to see from me going forward. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, moms.